Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports Hit subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, uh, got some news in boxing scene. Uh, basically, James DeGale, 168-pound champion. Uh, he's got a fight, big fight coming up with Badu Jack. That should be a, a good one. It's one that we've want, waited for for a long time. We're, we're going to get it uh, early next year, so good news there. Uh, shout out to the people uh, at Showtime and I guess Al Hammond as well for making the fight happen. But he's been talking about fighting Golovkin if Golovkin were to come to 168. And personally, this is always a fight I've wanted to see. Uh, De Gale is a very crafty, smart, you know, talented boxer. Golovkin has uh, shown tendencies to struggle with guys who can move a little bit. Now, I don't think De Gale would have the uh, punching power to keep Golovkin off of him. But it's still an intriguing fight due to the, the way James Gill can change angles, whether it be from close range or from, you know, on the outside. So I think that makes it intriguing to me. Uh, with that being said, he had some quotes about Golovkin, and I want to get into them. Here's what he said and told Sky Sports, and this is, I'm reading this via boxing scene. Here's what he said. He said, I quote, A mega fight to me is a fight that I am in and people think I'm going to lose. I am the underdog. Golovkin is a perfect fight. It's a hard fight, but it's a fight that I think I have a fantastic chance of beating him. He's not the biggest middleweight, so if he moves up in weight, I'm going to have the size advantage. His boxing ability is very good. He's a former Olympian. He's obviously an uh, undisputed champion, but I've seen weaknesses, and I think I can expose them 100%. So, James DeGale, world champion. I see a lot of flaws in Golovkin that I can expose. That's what he's saying, that he can expose... Uh, some weaknesses from Golovkin. Now look, Golovkin's a hard guy to beat. It's simple. It's just, it's just, it's, he's a hard guy to beat. We've heard guys like Darnell Boone, Derek Finley, guys who have fought, you know, Andre Ward, um, tell you that basically that Golovkin punches the powers or is real deal, and he'll stop you should he catch you. And he does a good job of sending that power up because he can cut off the ring. He gets good leverage with his lead left foot. Um, he shifts, so he's always on balance, and you know, while he's not like you know Pernell Whitaker, you know, bending his legs and basically getting his whole body out of the way to still punch. You know, he might he'll, he'll be moving forward to you, and he'll shift and he'll move his head real subtly, and your your punches will just still pass his face. And it doesn't look like he's doing much, but he's doing a lot to set set up you know counter punches, him cutting off the ring, and Golovkin. You know, I think he'd beat James DeGale. Um, I think it'd be a hell of a fight. You could put that in the UK. You know, Golovkin Brook did good business over there. Uh, DeGale's expressed the, in the desire to always fight at home. So if they wanted to do another big event in the UK, you know, it would make sense to do it for this fight. It should ever get made. I don't think it's going to happen because Golovkin has, has his heart set on becoming undisputed world champion at 160. Now, I don't know if... Billy Joe Sanders will ever hike up a skirt and fight him. That's that. That remains to be seen. But um, I think at some point, you know, because I'm not against Golovkin staying at 160 to become undisputed champion. Because I, I feel like if you're going to be a great fighter, you should dominate. You should un you should be convincingly dominate a weight class before you move up. Roman Gonzalez has done that. We've seen Bernard Hopkins do that. We've seen um, Sugar Ray Leonard do that. And I think Gennady's trying to trying to follow those same footsteps, but if it comes to a point where you have Jacobs not wanting to fight him, Saunders not wanting to fight him, none of these guys want to fight him. I think he he should you know go move up 168. There's good fights for him there. You know the Gale will fight him uh, potentially there. He like he said Jesse Hart. I just did a video about it. Jesse Hart said he'll fight him for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So the middleweight division it really is not very. It's not a very deep division as far as talent goes, and I think the better fights for Gennady, the legacy fights, the fights that'll make him a legend in the sport of boxing, will be at 168. So it's not even a matter of him just becoming undisputed. I think if he wants to become an undeniable great legend in boxing, and I'm not, I'm not saying his skills, his skills warrant the praise he gets, but the level of opponents are always going to be his downfall if he stays at 160. So I think he's going to have to move to 168. And if he can, you know, maybe even more to 175 because Abel said he can get to 175. So I would like to see him get to 175 at some point. I'm not saying it should be in the next year or so, but at some point before he, you know, at some point in the next two years, he's got to move up. I think he's got to move up to, to really prove. Not that he's already great five, but I'm saying he's a, he needs to move up so he can prove to the people who still doubt him that he's an undisputed great fighter for sure. And yeah, I, I know for a fact that if he does beat Dilly Joe Saunders, which he's fully expected to do, should they ever fight, 
Yes, I'll be the undisputed champion, the only one in boxing. But then people are gonna say, "Well, look, the middleweight division is complete. There's no, there's no talent there," and he's still gonna get discredited. So I, I for once, as a GGG fan, would like to see him go up to 168, challenge the Gadu Jacks, the DeGales, Jesse Hart's, you know, guys of that nature over there at 168, beat them up if he can do it, and and, and just silence all the critics. That's my opinion. But just let me know what you guys think. James Gill versus Gennady Golovkin. Is this a fight you would like to see? If so, what chance do you give James Gibb winning this fight? Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care guys.